All the livestock farmers in Umenike local government community are unhappy. Last month, a respiratory infection swept through the community, affecting all the poultry. Many of the chickens had to be killed. The farmers couldn't earn their income, and some who took loans even went into debt. There were no eggs or chicken for people to eat that month in that community. It was indeed a sad time. This is how diseases can affect the economy. Learning about the economic importance of animal diseases is such an important lesson to have because it highlights the necessity of preventing these diseases, which we'll be discussing in our next lesson. But in today's lesson, we want to look at the economic importance of animal diseases, so let's get right into it. Animal diseases will lead to poor growth of animals. This will in turn affect the yield or productivity of the animal. What this means is that the animals perform less in milk and egg production, weight gain, work done in the case of work animals and even wool production. Animal diseases will also result in low income to the expecting farmer and just like one of the farmers in Medicaid local government community, it could result in death. Animal diseases could also lead to poor quality of animal products. Eventually, livestock could die and this will result in a total loss as the farmer has lost out on his income and has also lost money in trying to manage the disease. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at some of the methods of preventing diseases.